What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. Once again, if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. We're starting off in Uncle's Van today because, as you guys may remember, if you watched the previous episode, we technically completed the rally race, but I'm actually en route to Quavo's shop to uh, hopefully pick up something that's going to make things way way easier it has been many many days since the previous episode also i just want to point out thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers i know this happened technically a couple of days ago whenever you guys see this but uh man things are just so crazy right now not only do oxane and i have our wedding coming up very very shortly but also 10k subs super sick thank you guys for making this week extra extra special for me if uploads do get a little light just sort of keep in mind that we are getting married. So, I mean, there's there's quite a bit happening currently. So, nonetheless, back to my summer car. We're going to be going up to Quavo's shop and picking up a very, very important piece of equipment. You guys may remember in that previous episode, again, our vehicle was doing that weird, like, rocky thing. So, I did actually take it to Fleetari. I had him align it as well as straighten out the suspension uh, mounting plates on the vehicle so it it should be better i'm hoping i'm not 100 percent sure yet but the thing we're actually picking up from quavo's shop is going to be some rally suspension boys we're doing it we're doing it and then there's some some new additions to the satsuma back at the house i will show you guys that when we get there but uh let's undo our seat belt here real quick We'll hop out, go see our boy Quavo, see how he's doing. Hey, buddy, what's going on? What do you got for me? Okay, nothing on the register. Hey to the dishes and dishes to the dishwasher. Couldn't have said it any better myself. So we have $9,500 on the table right here. We currently have ten grand. we have done, I think, three or four more runs of... Heal you. I'm done with drinking. You know how my eyes are not focusing straight after I have drank some. Dude, that happens to like everyone. That's that's called being drunk. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and pay this. We're down to a thousand dollars to our name now, ladies and gents. We are we are really uh really scraping the bottom of the barrel here for our for our finances. So let's go ahead and open up this package and we will see our new rally suspension dude this looks way more dope than our current suspension like the the coil springs they're not rusty i've never i've never seen non-rusty coil springs in the game so far so that's pretty dope and then hopefully this will also replace there's a fly that literally just flew in front of my face and i am so sad about it the even like the longer coil springs i don't think have any sort of color to them they're just kind of rusty so we're gonna throw all four of these in our backpack. Oh, and then the springs are actually separate. Okay. Oh, duh. Yeah, that'd be for the rear. All right, now that we have the goods, that is literally all we needed. Everything else is already taken care of, so we got to go back home to the Satsuma and uh, and get this stuff installed. I think I think we still have to rip out the existing suspension. I don't think I I don't think I did that off camera. Honestly, I don't remember. Like I said, it's been it's been a few days now. But uh, I will see you guys once we get back to the house. Okay, back at home. So on the shelf here, we actually have our original coil springs. You can see they're pretty gross looking. Not exactly a, a presentable coil spring for sure. But we already have the jack pulled out here. So we're going to go ahead and slide this under the vehicle. I'm going to do both sides. The two so I'm going to do the front and the rear on one side at a time. Does that make sense? So we're gonna do we're gonna do this side first. Also, this is new, boys. This is big. I am I am cutting no corners. Okay, I'm trying to finish this rally race to the best of our ability with the best possible equipment. So we have here some actual rally tires. I haven't actually tested them other than just driving back from Fleetaris after having them installed. I think they're grippier. I guess we'll uh, we'll have a little bit better understanding of how it's gonna perform once we actually get the rally suspension put on. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and uh, I'll start getting to work on this thing. Only one minor oopsie so far and it's really not even that bad. I did kind of place the jack, the floor jack, right in front of the driver's side door without opening up the hood beforehand. So now I have to climb through the passenger side and, uh, and peek through there. There we go. Let's pop that bad boy on open. I guess I just didn't really think about the fact that we're gonna need access to these 
strut uh, strut tops here. And having paid Fleetari already to straighten these suspension mounts, I can already say that I don't think anything has changed because the length of this bolt here is still like, it, it, like it's barely on the nut. It, it looks like it's being barely held up. So I don't know. Hopefully the rally suspension is going to fix that, but we can at the very least remove these wheels and we will get the old suspension taken out. Oh, we have to open the trunk also. Wow. Wow, it would fall. It would freaking fall, dude. Why does that happen? I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm not putting the jack far enough under the vehicle, but I mean, the last time I jacked it up, it was on the pinch weld, which is where you're supposed to jack from. So I, I'm not really, I'm not really 100% sure on why that's happening, but I think we're about ready to remove this front suspension component, the strut, <laughs> the coil on strut assembly oh you know what it might be the brake lines dude um isn't there a nut over on this side like yeah size seven okay let me try to get a ratchet or not a ratchet a wrench size seven and uh we'll see if if we can get rid of that oh my god oh my god i had to remove the freaking inner tie rod or i guess that's technically an inner and outer tie rod, is it not? So just for comparison's sake, this is what we're working with, okay? This is the original setup right here. We have a, a separate strut and coil for the rear, and then we have a combined coil on strut for the front. That's usually how, you know, older hatch style, not even hatch style vehicles are. That's just how cars like this are, okay? I got a, I got a Volkswagen, same thing. Literally same thing. We're gonna open up our backpack and then this would be the front What front left driver side? I just wish it said driver side and passenger, but that's cool rally strut front left That's what we want. We're gonna drop that. Oh my god. Look at that dude freak it I mean this thing's obviously a beefcake, but this just looks very well manufactured You know what I'm saying? And then we have just a rally shock absorber. That's either side. I guess God even that's kind of pretty looking and then we have the rally coil spring for the rear beautiful dude what an upgrade what an upgrade and this is only one side so i'm gonna get this i'm gonna shut up again i'm doing too much talking today um, i'm gonna get this stuff installed and i will see you guys when we have the whole vehicle reassembled just another dumb thing that i've done today i i just tried to install the uh the coil spring after installing the strut which is is not possible that it cannot be done so now i'm going to try to do it the right way grab the spring set that on up in here there we go perfect god look at how much nicer that looks dude and then we crouch down again grab our struts and pop that in right there we'll get this resituated okay sorry to uh to distract from the actual subject at hand or the actual task at hand which is completing the rally successfully. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Well, I didn't actually realize this until just now as I'm working on the final side, but uh, it looks like there are actually some type of adjustment screw on the bottom of all of the struts, even the, even the fronts here. This one just being the rear, for example, but uh, I'm not going to mess with that. Also, the vehicle is about to fall off the jack again, which is fantastic, but I'm not going to mess with it just because then I have to take off all of the wheels again, adjust all the screws. I'd, I'd have to probably look up to see if there's like a, a good adjustment value or, or what have you. But uh, just before the vehicle falls off, I'm going to try to throw this wheel on. I don't think we're going to have the best of luck. Come on, baby, right there. Okay, now we just need a 13. Real quick with it. Real quick with it. There we go. Got to at least get these four on before it falls. Otherwise, the wheel's just going to fall right off. Okay, perfect. And just in the nick of time. Honestly, look at it. It's like it's scooting off the jack just a, like a centimeter every second. Nonetheless, I do think we are finally ready to lower the vehicle back down. And it surprisingly doesn't have as much of like a monster truck fitment as I, as I thought it would. Honestly, it looks a little bit lower than it did before even in the rear should hopefully run okay I, i'm sure those adjustment uh screws and stuff would would have something to do with the ride height and, and whatnot but uh cool man okay i'm gonna pick up all of the stuff that i've drug out now we're gonna take care of our stats and uh sort of fast forward until the next rally day which is gonna be next saturday so i will see you guys then all right dudes today 
is the day. I don't expect to place first on our now third attempt at the rally so far, but I do expect to like maybe get a bronze medal, something. I don't even know what the trophies look like. Hopefully we can uh, we can walk home with with some sort of a reward or something something to you know tell mom about or tell grandma about. And we're just gonna sign our name, Barry McCockner. Lovely name, lovely name. All right, and we are all set. So let's head back to the car. We are once again using this kind gentleman's driveway as our staging area. The only difference this time is that we actually don't have any sort of pit crew stuff. We have no tools, no spares, no no nothing. We're uh we're really trying. All right, we're really trying to go for it this time around. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and fire up the vehicle, make sure she's she's still running right. The battery is surprisingly low, it looks like, in its voltage. Maybe the alternator's gonna charge it up now. I don't know. I've never seen I've never seen it drop that fast, though, while just cranking her over. So let's go ahead and enter driving mode. We're gonna buckle up, put down the e-brake. I don't think I'm gonna wait for it to warm up either. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna straight up send it. I thought about maybe trying this in uh, chase cam type view maybe it would be easier for me to race that way but we're gonna try first person mode again and hopefully we'll be able to stay out of the way of these other rally drivers but you can hear the turb ski just winding up dude just winding up so i don't know what time these two guys go at but obviously there's already someone on course so oh and the vehicle's still doing the thing dude i don't I don't understand. I don't understand. You know what? No more excuses. We literally have all of the best of the best stuff now bolted to this vehicle, so come on. Any minute now. There it is. Alright, we got our countdown, and I'm gonna drop the clutch. We're gonna let her eat here, but I'm gonna immediately upshift to third just so we can get some nice, smooth driving in. Dude, we got our new Rally suspension. I'm feeling good. We got a lot grippier tires now. We have the rally specific tires. Okay, bumps and stuff still suck. So no change there. I part of me does wanna God dude, it's so squirrely. Part of me does want to maybe try to adjust the steering sensitivity. Because it just kind of seems a little a little funky. And I think I might have actually just lost my trunk. But uh after losing that, it actually feels a little bit better. And we could have additionally taken out the uh, passenger seat to maybe make the vehicle a little bit lighter. We could have also uh, tuned up the turb ski just a little bit. But it's good, you know? I'm, I'm cool with... Ooh, not good. Not good. Not good. Get back on track. Um, I'm cool with, with 0.8 bar or 11 PSI or whatever it is. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk as much because I do hear other rally drivers coming up the rear of us. So I'm just gonna sort of step on it. This is a decent straight section here. Gotta be careful at the top of this hill, though. Yeah, okay, I remembered that. Woo, girl! Oh no! Nope, 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 nope! Come on, man! I am I am really trying here. I am really trying here. I already think we should just restart. Because that, I mean, that's going to set us back a, a a decent bit. So, let's try her out again, shall we? <laughs> and this is why we went to Quavo's shop and saved at his little, uh, his little outhouse. So, just in case something bad did happen, which, of course, it did. We're good. Everything's, everything's cool. I'm half tempted to just remove my trunk. Because uh, something's up with it right it's it's causing causing mega damage i think that's what's causing that like vehicle tilt i'm not really sure so i i, I might just uh i might just see if we can unbolt that or maybe i'll open it see if it just falls off on its own i don't know let's take a look see what's up with this thing if it opens correctly okay so yeah see it's not it's not opening correctly so that's that's telling me that something's up with it and of course i don't have any tools so it's not like i can just remove my trunk would it be something to do with the hood lock? Probably not. Let's try it. Let's see if the hood opens. Yeah, the hood opens just fine and closes just fine. But that trunk, man, something about it. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. That's it. 
That's it right there. That is A-OK -okay with me. So now that we've removed it, I'm hoping, let's get in, let's get in the, oh, wait, 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 we still got to sign up. God, what am I doing? I'm getting way ahead of myself. But I'm hoping that now it's not going to rock as bad. And it looks like another driver actually did take off. So slightly better chance of us um, getting rear-ended or not getting rear-ended. So we're going to sign our name once again. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and remove our helmets. We could probably leave it here, but I'm going to be a nice person. We'll bring it back to our pit area. Just chuck it over here by this dude's mailbox. Looks good. All right, dudes. This time for sure, right? This time for sure. Maybe we should remove the fuzzy dice too, you know? That could be obstructing our, our vision for some of these corners. Maybe. Oh, it's not wobbling. It's not wobbling even a little bit, dude. That's got to be it. Why would my trunk be screwed up, though? That's what I don't understand. Okay, there's still two vehicles here. Um... Let's, let's give her a shot, shall we? There we go. I'm ready. Ready when you guys are. God, I wish we had some two-step or something, dude. We kind of do, I guess. There, there's a rev limiter, but it's just, it's just over-revving pretty bad. There's no, like, backfire or anything. Five, four, three, two, one, and dump in the clutch. We are out of here, my dude. Up shift to second. And third... Okay, the first corner actually does require second gear, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to give her some more beans. I'm going to give her some more beans. You bet your sweet bippy. But the main goal is to just stay on the road, so... You know. We haven't been doing very well at that so far. On these straightaways, dude, I could really get after it, and I've just been... I've been holding back. Okay, up this hill. Got another slight straightaway. Not too straight, though. Slight left. Here we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, slow up for the top of the hills. Could send you flying. All right, keep her on. Keep her on. There we go. Got some more bumps and stuff. Another decent straightaway right here. So let's let her eat. Some rally jumps. Dude, the suspension is doing much better, but it's still one of those things where you get off course and it gets all sorts of squirrely on you. Makes you jump like four feet in the air. Okay, looking good, looking good through here. This is gonna be a slight jump. Here we go. Really slow up for this part. This is super sketch. This is one of those areas you really don't wanna get off track. Or off course, I guess I should say. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say anything about how we're doing right now. I do not want to jinx us. Not even gonna talk about it. <laughs> Can you guys tell how focused I am? Literally laser focused right now. Okay. How do people do this? How do people play like F1 and do commentary over top of it? There is way too much focus happening. Ooh, all right, all right. A little, little quick through here, a little too quick maybe. Try to slow it up for the top of this hill. There we go, Re really letting her eat here. And then we're coming up to Fleetari, so I gotta make sure I slow up for that turn. This bridge too is kind of sketch. Okay, just hitting the corner of that bridge. It's good, we're gonna downshift to first. Try to make it through here. Okay, keep her on course, keep her on, there we go. Slight turning adjustments, don't want to get too aggressive with it. Okay, we gotta really slow down for some of these turns. Oh, dude, I'm like, I'm trembling. I'm shaking right now. I just want to do well. Ooh, no, keep her on, keep her on. Okay, we're all right, we're all right through here. Gonna slow up a lot for this corner. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, dude. All right, the train tracks will send you flying, so I am gonna slow down for those quite a bit. There we go. Looking good through there. We are passing the... Uh, the Kiel you dude's house, Yak Yoki, whatever his his name is. Coming up to the right, or I guess on our left here. It's gonna be the firewood location. 
That's the drop-off spot. Woo. Okay, slow it up for this. A slight little right-hander. Okay, and then we'll slow it up again for this left. All right, I don't remember where the course actually continues. Does it go straight through here? Or does it curve right? Oh, it's, it curves right. Okay, slow that down. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Could probably do like a handbrake turn. It's probably quite a bit faster, but we're still going for it, dude. Why am I so shaky? I haven't been this nervous for anything <laughs> in a long time. Ooh, okay. Downshift. That's a sketchy turn. So is this. There we go. All right, boys. All right. This is one of those zero deaths type situations. PewDiePie would be so proud. Okay, I remember this part too by Grandma's. We gotta slow that down a lot. No! No, 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 no. We were doing so, so hot, dude. We were doing so hot. Let's keep everything in check here, all right? This is not the place to get off course. Nope, 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 nope. Don't tip over. Don't tip over. Putting that rally suspension to work, baby. All right, all right, all right. My mouth is so dry. I wish I could get a drink right now. I wish I could pause, actually, mid-race. So I could just reset my brain. All right, we're back on it though. Back on throttle. I'm gonna stay second gear through here. I know we're we're kind of over revving. Okay, and the turn by Grandma's house. We're gonna do a better across the line finish this time as well. The, the last one we did like after time was horrible. Okay, we are cooking now, boys. We are cooking now. Let's downshift again. Hit the brakes. Very sketchy area as well. Holy crap, dude. Okay, okay. We're back on the turb ski. And we gotta slow it down for this bit quite a bit. Oh, no. Did I just lose my transmission? You're kidding. You're kidding. Dude, I, I can't. I can't. I, we were doing... Oh my god. Oh my god. We were doing so well. I think I just lost my whole tranny. Oh my goodness gracious. J it's still there. What the heck is broken? <laughs> what the heck is broken here, dog? Did it just... Did it die? Hang on. There's, there's no way we're going to finish strong right now, but... We'll see what happens, see if it turns over. I think I just locked it up, dude. Yeah, it's not, it's not cranking. We got, we got other rally drivers passing us now. They're flying. They are actually flying. There goes another one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, our, uh, our Satsuma's toast, dog. Absolutely toast. We need to be way more careful. Here comes the third guy now. Just look at how fast they're cruising through here, dude. Nuts. Insane. All right. Well, time to time to go again, huh? Here we go. Three, two, one. Dropping the clutch. We Audi 5000, dog. All right. You guys have seen this whole, like, first bit, I don't know, so many times now. Too many times, probably. So I'm going to go ahead and just resume if we make it back to the same part where we crashed at previously. So see you then. I'm so over this. I'm so, dude, I, I'm so sick of it. I just, I just want to do good, man. I just want to, I just want to finish the race, you know? Three, two, one, and we Audi. Well, we're not, we're not actually Audi because we would be in an Audi if that were the case, but you, you get it. All right. It's a saying. People say that.
Okay, we are officially back up near Grandma Ma's house. Uh, we're not doing too bad. We haven't had any, like, big slip-ups just yet. I, I don't want to jinx myself by saying that, but I think I might have... <laughs> I think I might have been uh, might have been too late. We'll see though. We'll see. We're we're keeping her on course at least. I wouldn't say this is the fastest we've been through this section yet. Um, but you know, you'll have that sometimes, especially on them bigger jobs. Ooh, girl. All right. I cannot be getting distracted either. There's a big right sweeper right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and downshift. And it was just past this where we uh, made some mistakes in a in a previous try, but not this time. All right, not this time. Knock on wood. I would knock on my desk if it was real wood. Okay, slow down for this bit here. This is where those other drivers just re I mean, they really cruise through here, and I would love to do that, except for then that stuff happens. And when you get sucked off the... <laughs> i got to be careful about how I word things. When you... When the road... <laughs> when, like, the, the ditch sucks you in, uh, it, it's it's a little sketch. You know? It's a little sketch. But I think we should be nearing the finish line. Hopefully... Was that the finish? Or is this the finish? This is the finish. Finish! We did it, boys! We did it! We got a clean lap! Oh man, okay, so let's head, uh, let's head up the road again. We gotta hop on the main road, we, and we need to go up to, uh, where the rally stage is actually held, where we start the rally. And we'll see if our time is, is visible there somewhere. I don't, hopefully we can make it back up there before they, uh, they close up for the afternoon. But, um, I'm feeling good, man. That, that actually went really well. I, I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to include, um, but uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be a, a time lapse of just my very serious face uh, behind the wheel here. But uh, nonetheless, I will see you guys once we get back to around Quavo's shop area. God, what a good feeling, dude. What, like, that's such a huge weight off my shoulders. I know that sounds really strange to say, because at the end of the day, I mean, it is just a, a video game, but that has been... That's probably the most stressful race I have ever raced in a video game just because of how difficult it was. We're going to get T-boned by the bus if we're not careful. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. Okay. And it looks like Fleetari is still also chilling right here. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. So we're going to go ahead and rip our handbrake, unbuckle our harness. We're going to turn her off, dude. I... Just want to see how, first of all, how bad the damage is on the Satsuma, if any. We removed our trunk before the race, and it actually just vanished into thin air. So, I, I'm not sure where that went, but uh, everything else looks pretty good. The, uh, the rockers look fairly straight still. Fender might be a little dented up, but uh, I'd say that was a very, very clean run. A very clean pass through there. So, Fleetari, are you the guy we see about our time? Probably not. Is there another group of tents around here? Who do I gotta see about my time? Let's actually, let's go over here. We'll go see what this little area is. See if anyone's, uh, anyone's chilling over here. No. No, I do hear some other rally cars just now starting. But, um, oh, here we go. Oh, this is the parts, dude. Yeah, so if we, uh, if we had a part removed from the Satsuma and came over to him, he, we would we could actually buy a, uh, a used part from him. So probably not much better than what we already have on the vehicle, but it's it's nice that the option is there. So it looks like I might have missed the tent that might show us what our what our time is because Fleetari is, is definitely not being very helpful in that regard. So I'm going to go back over to where we literally just came from and uh, I'm going to see if maybe there's an, an additional tent that... that tells us our time so right after we finished there was a stop sign and then just in front of the strawberry field here there's actually this oh yeah browse results there's actually this little uh little shack little tent here so let's see we got to find our name in here um oh there we are okay we're not actually up here i guess we didn't do much better than any of the drivers but we did finish actually finish 
the rally this time. We're sitting at a, a 651, which is, I mean, that's not bad, right? It could be much, much faster, but that was a very safe, very conservative run. I'm okay with it, honestly. We didn't, as you can tell, we didn't get first, second, third. We actually didn't place on this at all. We are probably the slowest driver in the junior class at 651. But I mean, we did it. You know what? And that's what we set out to do is, is actually successfully complete the rally race. So with that, I think I'm going to wind things down here. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.